Okay, so now that we've got a basic understanding on how to change our chart design and format our chart elements, now I'm going to start discussing how we can modify the data within the chart, change the chart type, and show how we can move this chart throughout our workbook. The first example I'm going to show you is the switch row slash column feature. Currently on our x-axis, we have the months, January, February, and March. And within those months, we have five different expenses, which is included in our legend. If we select this chart, you can see that our x-axis, our months, are our columns. And our expenses in our legend are located in the rows. So to switch this around, it's a very simple process. All we have to do is select our chart, come up to the chart design tab, and select switch row slash column. If we give that a click, now our expenses are located along the x-axis and the months are used in our legend. So the blue bar is January, the orange bar is February, and the gray bar is March. So depending on how you want to view your data, you can select the switch row slash column command to change how your chart displays your data depending on your needs. And I'm just going to select this command again to go back to the original. We can also modify what data gets displayed in our chart. For example, let's say we only want January and February within our chart, and we only want to look at cost of goods sold, wages, and rent. There's two different ways to do this. The first option is to select our chart, and over here in our report, we can change the area of the data selected. So if we only want January and February, we can move our cursor to one of the endpoints, click and drag to where it only shows January and February, and if we only want to show cost of goods sold, wages, and rent, we can click and drag and only include those. And you can see that our chart updated to only show January, February, and those three expenses. So that's the first option. The second option is to select our chart, come up to the chart design tab, and select select data. Now from here, instead of clicking and dragging to resize the data that we want to show, we can simply just select the checkboxes of the data that we want to show. So if we only want to show January and February, we can deselect March. And if we only want to show cost of goods sold, rent, and utilities, we can deselect wages and supplies. And if we click OK, now our chart only shows January, February, and those three expenses. Personally, I like the second option better because if you try to change the area of your selected data by clicking and dragging, it's a little bit more time consuming if you're trying to show data that is in non-contiguous cells because you would have to press control click several times to get the correct data you want in your chart. So it's a little bit more time consuming. But the second option is very simple and efficient and all we have to do is click select data and we can reselect the checkboxes to include the rest of our data. Okay, let's say you insert a chart, you did some work on it, but then you run into a situation where you need to change the chart type. Luckily, you don't have to start over from scratch. All you have to do is select the chart, come up to the chart design tab, and select change chart type. Currently, we have a clustered column chart, but let's say that you need to change it to a bar chart. We can select bar and click OK. And if you see that all of our formatting stays intact, so we didn't lose any of our formatting work that we did previously, but instead of a column chart, it is now a bar chart. I'm going to press Control Z as in zebra, or Command Z if you're on Mac, to undo that action to get us back to our original column chart. Now the last thing I want to show you is how we can change the location of this chart, because currently we're on our report sheet. We could make this chart have its very own sheet to itself, and to do that, all we have to do is select the chart, come up to the Chart Design tab, and select Move Chart. And then we can choose where we want the chart to be placed. Let's put it on its own sheet. So I'm going to select New Sheet and click OK. So now our chart is on its own sheet. And it gives us a lot bigger view of the chart. And if we went to go print this workbook, Excel would print our report page and then have this chart on its own piece of paper. And even though that we moved this chart to its own sheet, our chart and our data is still connected. So if we change anything in our report, it will still update this chart. And to move the chart back, we can select Move Chart and select Objects in Report on our report sheet and click OK. 
So now our chart is back on our report sheet. Another way to move this chart is to use cut and paste. For example, if I press Control X on my keyboard to cut, or Command X if you're on Mac, and let's say I want to put it on a new sheet, I can create a new sheet and use the shortcut Control V as in Victor to paste it. Now our chart is secluded on sheet one, but once again, the data from our report and our chart is still connected. So that's the basics on how we can modify the data, change the type and the location of a chart.